Hey guys, this is Eggman from Vintage Axe Collectibles, and welcome to my review of the Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Class of Sideswipe. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt, it is rather nice, very, very G1 accurate. It's kind of sunken down in there. He does have good head rotation, but I feel like his chest plate comes up kind of high right at the collarbone area see if we tilt it back just a little we start to lose sight of the head see whoop, whoop, whoop. so you have to be careful how you pose him or you're going to wind up losing good visibility of his face and it's, it's just going to look funny but nice job on the chest plate the torso is just the front hood of the car with the autobot logo dead center we have the waist rotation, weapon port holes on his shoulder and forearm, sturdy feet to stand on. And his backpack, well, there really is none. <laughs> Folds away pretty sleek, it's just the top of the car with one extra port hole to store away his weapon in robot form. Checking out the legs, look at all that dry brushing of that gunmetal gray on the metallic surface of the legs. That looks really, really good. As for side swipes weapons, you just get these two little pieces here. This one is okay, the black one, but the red one just doesn't look like much, some little pea shooter. You can combine them, but eh, I don't even really know if that helps. I actually think the colors of red and black go good together, but I don't know about this. I just don't know don't know what to make of it. This this red piece here just really doesn't oops, really doesn't look like anything. Now as for this little blaster here, or, I don't know, it kind of looks like a little grenade launcher. You can plug that into his forearm, and that doesn't look bad. But when you can plug the weapon into their shoulder panel, I think that's a good look too. Now you plug it in up top with this little flat piece. I don't want to put it on this side because this round piece would just, you know, be in the way of his head. So we're going to put it on his left side or right side and that looks pretty cool and as for this little huh, i don't know cheap little blaster here we'll just put that in his hand right there and okay well that kind of works out so as you see here i collected four of the first eight deluxes from the transformers siege toy line hey can have them all, right? <laughs> but these are the four that I mainly wanted. And of course, Hound has been a fan favorite. Uh, I think Ironhide turned out really well. I was hoping that they would have made him as a Voyager class. But as you see here, he's at least the largest of all the deluxes. All right, now everybody get together for a family photo. Here are the four deluxes with Siege Voyager Optimus Prime. And they look great together. You know, I never thought I'd say this after the damn Bayverse. They, the toy line made like a million and one different bumblebees. I mean, oh, I was sick of it. It was all kind of, you know, alternative versions and repaints and blah, blah, blah. And, but you know what? What we need here from the Siege line is a deluxe of Bumblebee in his Cybertronian form, just like we saw in the Bumblebee film. But, oh, wait, I do have... This little guy for now. So there is Bumblebee with his classic Volkswagen Beetle parts on him and how they look as a group. And now let's get Sideswipe transformed.
And here is Sideswipe in his alt mode as a sports car. And wow, he is beautiful. Autobot logo on the hood right there. Of course, that was just his chest plate and bot form. Let's focus in on the detail. Look at those chrome rims. Little star. And uh, up top we have, I guess, some exhaust panels. Now he, he does set pretty low, like maybe a Lamborghini, but he does roll pretty good. And I know the Siege line is supposed to be a uh, you know, Cybertronian theme, but he does look like he's already got his alt mode from the human race's vehicles. Or, or did the human race get their ideas for vehicles? from the Cybertronians. Now of all the Siege line, I would say Sideswipe definitely looks the prettiest in his alt mode and perhaps adding his weapons can only tacky him up. So, eh, well there's that little blaster. Red on red just kind of blends in. Then here's this little grenade launcher type thing and just plugs in up top. And, uh, eh, I don't know, maybe we'll just put this, plug it in on the other side. If that's any better. I don't know. As for comparisons, here are the four of the eight Siege Deluxes that I have collected. And I think they all scale great together. You know what, this Siege line is turning out to be one of my most favorite Transformers toy lines of all time. And of course, here is the team of Autobots with their leader, Optimus Prime. And as the Resistance, they are ready to take on the empire of evil Decepticons. Call them Rebel Scum if you want, but hey, they are ready to take out the Death Star, I mean Unicron, as he is a threat to every planet in our solar system. <laughs> so, guys, uh, if you want more reviews from the Transformers Siege toy line, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my siege playlist for more content well that wraps up my video i'd like to thank everyone for watching and remember in times of turmoil ask yourself what will professor charles xavier do